The purpose of that 666 video was to show people evil. The evil that we live in every day. The evil of need, necessity, and addiction. All people can do when I say some shit that makes no sense at all is refer to cocaine and drugs. If I said something that was super logical, you would never even watch the video. 666, the evil number, the number of evil. So, what do you think about that? You think I was tripping? But, makes sense. If I was evil and want to destroy people, I'd put you in a position to where you could not defend yourself, but needed everything in which I had to give you. A false sense of reality. A false sense of security. A false sense of self. See, the reality of evil is this. It's not bad enough if you can destroy a person. But it is truly evil if you force the person to destroy themselves. The movie Saw, one through whatever number they're at now. The man got more kick out of making you hurt yourself because he could have already killed you. You could already be dead. See, the true evil in mankind is when another man inflicts a, inflicts a suffering upon another man. Instead of me just putting a gun to you while you're being held down and shoot you, I'd give the gun to somebody else. Instead of the bullets being strong enough to kill you in one whop, each bullet makes you suffer more and more. That's evil. Because by the time you die, you feel dead. You are dead. And then you wish you were dead. But the irony of the whole thing is you can't see you're dead you don't know you're dead. You just find out you're dead. Now, evil, they don't want to just destroy you. They want the essence of you. Sit back and roll up your soul. Smoke it. Evil. What is evil? Getting you in debt for something that you already own. Didn't you buy that house? But you got to pay taxes on it every year to keep it. Where's the logic in paying for something for full and taxes at date of purchase? And then you got to constantly tax yourself in order to have it. Life has been given to humanity. And humanity charges humanity for it. If the technology we build every day is to better our world, why do we have to pay for it? That's truly evil. If a kid can't eat, and a man has no place to sleep, and this world is our playground, how come that kid can't eat? How come that man can't have a place to sleep? Suffering is evil. Forcing a suffering upon people is evil. Forcing a people to fight each other for something that is free is evil. Making a group of people pay for something that is provided by the planet is evil. Forcing people into debt with the hopes of having a better life is evil. Interest is evil. Taxes are evil. Disrespect is evil. You can't understand that video. Out of most of the people that watched it, only one person said anything that was remotely close to what I was thinking, and he he slapped the ball around in different places I didn't think he was going to go. But he was telling the truth. Evil is a man-made disease. Give me the common cold. Give me pneumonia. 
Give me the flu. Give me laryngitis. Don't give me debt. Don't give me death. Don't give me bonds. Don't give me evil. What's logic? You have a country full of people, no jobs. There's plenty of jobs out there. Jobs are out there. Jobs with no aspiration are out there. Jobs with no future are out there. But you know just as well as I do, if the business won't survive, the jobs won't survive. Why do we need so many Starbucks? Why do we need so many fast food places? Supply and demand. No. We are told this stuff is good. This stuff has got something in it. You can ostracize the crack dealer, the coke dealer, the speed dealer, the weed man. The caffeine dealers, you're not ostracizing them. Those peddlers of that 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 Java juice. You're not you're not jumping on them for, for what that does to people. The addictions to caffeine. The the people who make the sports drinks. The suggested the suggested uh serving size is ten ounces. They got the thirty two ounce mega can and shit for your ass. Drinking bull semen mixed up with the hopes to get you a little energy to push you in this world. To keep up with the Joneses. Evil. Then they've had an audacity to put a color on evil. Evil is dark and gloomy and black. Then they take a group of people and taught them how to call themselves black people. A direct link synonymous to evil. When the evil guys riding the town on their horses, they all wore black. The black knight was the most dangerous knight of all. In a world where we're polarized mentally, we keep some from having an education. We give others a great education. We fuck everything. And no matter which one is what, they're still equal. That's evil. Or is that irony? To pay for an education that you can't benefit for. You don't benefit for that education. That education does nothing for you when there's nothing to use it on. Why is everything we do, we have to pay for it? Well, things cost. They got us to believe. They've made us believe that what we're getting that is free, it costs. Water, they charge for water because it has to be refined. If I knew I had to go work at that refinery down there one day a week so I can have fresh drinking water, I'm there. If I know I got to work at the power plant three months a year, I'm there so that everybody in the village, the neighborhood, and the community got power. We need to restructure what we do as a people to fight evil because the evil that we walk through and live with amongst every day is man-made. You got people thinking they're godlike and godly. They are gods creating evil for us to maneuver through. And when we get to the other side, we're either part of the evil or we fall to the side. 666. Six, six. The video nobody understands. But those with the brain, the capacity in the mind, they know what I did to people. They know what happened. And they know they were tubed.